Irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS, is a very common long-term condition that affects the gut, and more specifically, the large bowel. It is slightly more common in women than in men and usually starts in early adulthood, but it can occur at any age. The main symptoms of IBS include stomach pain, which might ease after passing gas or stool, bloating when the stomach feels uncomfortably full and swollen, and diarrhea or constipation, with some people alternating between both. These symptoms may come and go from time to time, with some days being better and some worse. But what exactly causes these symptoms in the first place? To answer this, let's take a look at how the brain and the bowel interact with one another. In everyone, the brain and large bowel exchange messages through a system of nerves. These messages tell the bowel to contract in a rhythmic fashion to keep food moving through the digestive system. At the same time, water and nutrients are being absorbed by the body. In IBS, the exchange of messages between the brain and bowel is altered. This is because the large bowel becomes sensitive and highly reactive to the passage of food. As a result, the bowel contracts either too slowly, causing constipation, or too quickly, causing diarrhea. Researchers don't know the exact causes of these changes, but they have identified a number of possible triggers. These include acute infections, stress, and dietary issues, such as food allergies and sensitivities. However, it is important to recognize that this represents only one theory and that the development of IBS is multifactorial. Since there is no obvious inflammation or physical abnormality in IBS, Diagnosis is based on symptoms and ruling out other types of bowel disease. So how is IBS treated? There is no single treatment that works for everyone because symptoms often vary from patient to patient, with some having it worse than others. Certain types of medications such as those that reduce bowel contractions, laxatives and antidiarrheals are often prescribed to ease related symptoms. However, because IBS is a chronic condition, Doctors focus on managing the patient's symptoms. Management options include finding ways to reduce stress, regular exercise, and making dietary modifications. It is also recommended that patients keep a diary where they note down which foods or activities bring on adverse reactions. With the variety of treatment and management options available, patients should work closely with their doctor to create a regimen tailored to their specific experience. For more information, consult with your doctor or visit the links below.